In this tutorial, we're going to start project number two. So it's really important that you finish the first project and get everything working properly before you go on. But this is not really a whole new project as much as it just is a reorganization of the project that we have so that it's much more logical. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as project two. And I've already done it, so I'm going to replace what I have. Um, but that way I make sure that I don't change what I started off with. Now we're actually going to remove some of the states that we have here. I'm going to remove painting two and painting three states. And as soon as I try and do this, it says if you do that, it is going to um, delete any interactions that deal with it. And that's okay. I'm aware of that. Now I'm going to go to painting one and take a look at what I've got here. I've got um, my different layers for my paintings. And what I want to do is make sure that I turn on all the different parts again, all the buttons and all the paintings, because I'm going to make all of that a new component. So instead of having different states here, we're going to move all of those states into a custom generic component. And it says there are some interactions and they're all going to be deleted. And that's totally fine. So now you'll notice in paintings, I have the painting custom component, which is really, really great. Now I can go inside of this and I've got the ability to have all of this stuff nested within itself and not interact with anything else. So let me duplicate my states for state one, two, and three, which will be painting one, two, and three. And we'll set up our design files just like we've done in the past. Painting one will just be painting one. Painting two will just be painting two, but both arrows. Painting three will be state three. No right arrow at this point and only painting number three. So now you can see all the paintings are there. Now we can come back to project two. The, this will go to um, painting one if I'm in bio, and, or really it'd be nice to even just call it paintings. Go to paintings if I'm in bio. And if I'm in bio, let's see, the bio of course will go to bio if I'm in paintings. So that's all those two buttons do now, which is great. And now all the work for the other buttons is done inside this component. So we do need to set up all of that work as well. So let's go back to our arrows and you'll notice we don't have our interactions. So we have to add it all again. So the first thing we're going to do is play transition to a state when in what other state. So this is going to be, we're going to go to state two when we're in state one. And we'll go to state three when we're in state two. For our left arrow, we're able to go to state two when we're in state three, and we're able to go to state one when we are, whoops, we're able to go to state one when we are in state two. So play transition to state two if in state three, and state one if in state two, and take a look at this, state two if in one, and state three if in two. So that should be great. All we have to do now is add our transitions. So I'll do a smooth transition from one to two, smooth transition two to one, smooth transition two to three, and a smooth transition three to two. We don't have to worry about one to three because we'll never actually have that happen. Now we can come back and we can test our movie with control enter and see if it worked. Let's go to paintings. There we can see painting number one, painting number two, and painting number three. Now we can go back to biography and back to paintings and you'll see it keeps where we were, which is really great. And now the fade happens really easily. Now we just told it to go back to um, paintings. We didn't tell it to go back to any particular state in paintings. So if we wanted to do that, we'd have to modify our code a little bit. But this is a pretty cool project that we've created completely in Catalyst without doing any action script at all. And behind the scenes, it's been writing a whole lot of code. So if we take a look at all the code it's done, it's done quite a lot. In fact, it's made all of these component libraries for us. And this is the type of stuff that back-end developers love. They love all this code. We, as front-end designers, don't really want to have to work with all this code. 
So um, that's why the design view is pretty much the only thing that we're going to be worrying about. However, we need to be worried about making these custom components because that's where the power of the states really are. And that's how an application needs to be built. It needs to be built with as many of these custom components and putting things that are related into a custom component as much as possible. So let's go ahead and save your work um, and, and uh, go on to the next tutorial where we're going to play a little bit more.